Chad Roeder is picking up food and getting ready to make deliveries. Okay, good to go. Is the deli order in the uh, cooler? Yeah. Okay. There you are. I will just grab both of these. Do you want to take both of them? Show off the camera. Ugh. All right. Thank All right. You. We'll see you in a bit, Molly. But unlike most delivery drivers, Rotor doesn't use a car or a van or even a large truck. He uses his bike. That's because he's the owner of Bloomington Pedal Power, a new bicycle based delivery service. He started the company in November out of a desire to help both the community and the environment. And already the business is gaining in popularity. Bloomington Pedal Power is a bicycle-based services provider for the Bloomington area. Uh, we do everything from uh, courier service, uh, mail drop-offs, uh, bank deposits, um, transportation of cargo, uh, grocery shopping, delivery, recycling, and uh, anything else that we can do on our bike or on our bike with a trailer, which is, you know, covers quite a bit, actually. Uh, we're not into transporting people yet, but, you know, give us time. One of Rotor's biggest customers is the local co-op grocery store, Blooming Foods. Blooming Foods Deli Supervisor, Elizabeth Cobb, said the business is a win-win for all involved. It helps us conserve energy. We're helping Bloomington Pedal Power as a new business get off its feet. And um, I find it personally uh, in a good thing because I'm a cyclist also. And having one less car on the road is good for everyone, so. Rotor picks up prepared foods at the near west door, packs them into his cooler, and hits the road. Prices vary based on the type of delivery. For groceries, he charges a $10 fee plus 10% of the total grocery bill. These types of bicycle-based delivery services are becoming increasingly popular across the country as consumers respond to high gas prices and fears of global warming. When he arrives at the downtown Bloomin' Foods, he unpacks the products, which include sandwiches, Pardon salads, me, and wraps, and places them on the shelves. You're looking for something to... He also does a quick inventory to see what's left. Across town, he also uses his bike to help businesses recycle. Okay, yeah, we're here at the Cinemat. Uh, they're, we're actually my first recycling client, um, and I generally come bi-weekly, so, you know, twice a month. And uh, this week is different, however. Uh, they had some excess recycling, so they, they put through an emergency call, and uh, here I am to pick up their really overflow. Awesome. It's not the most uh, glamorous part of Bloomington Bicycle Power, but at the same time, it is uh, helping to recycle in an extremely efficient and clean way. And that, Rudder says, is what truly matters.